The annual FIRST Robotics Competition is in full swing with some 60,000 high school students competing in regional challenges using robots they built in six weeks from a common kit of parts. NASA science chief and former astronaut John Grunsfeld was at the D.C. Convention Center to help kick off Washington's regional competition. When I was growing up, there weren't programs like this where I could get with like-minded kids and we could work on a project together to build something great. For me, it was more a question of surviving the process and still staying interested in science. And it's so crucial today that we have programs like this so that kids can grow together to grow stronger and to help our nation. NASA is the largest sponsor of the National first program, supporting five regional competitions and more than 280 teams. The D.C. region includes high school teams from Virginia, Maryland, Washington, and several other states. FIRST stands for For Inspiration and Recognition of Science and Technology. Here's a look at some of the competition from around the country. Since January, high school FIRST Robotics teams across the country have worked tirelessly to build, program, and test robots in preparation for upcoming regional and national tournaments. In Hampton Roads, the NASA Knights and Triple Helix teams, both sponsored by NASA Langley, spent nights and weekends getting their 120-pound robot ready for this year's challenge called Rebound Rumble. What it basically is is shooting foam basketballs up into basketball hoops that are arranged in a diamond pattern at both ends of the field. The higher baskets are worth more points. Around 60 robotics teams competed in the Virginia Regional Tournament held at Virginia Commonwealth University Siegel Center, all with the hopes of making it to the national tournament in St. Louis this April. This year's game presented new challenges, even for a seasoned team like the NASA Knights. This year had a lot of neat challenges. We actually got a vision tracking system working where we could use a camera and see where the backboard is and then judge your distance by the size of the backboard and spin our motors up accordingly, which is something we've never really done before and it was really neat to uh, figure out how all of that worked. Both the NASA Knights and Triple Helix feel confident about their robots and are looking forward to making it to nationals. I'm really excited. I think we did really well this year and I'm looking forward to seeing how everything pans out. FIRST Robotics is not only fun, but offers students real engineering experience and may inspire them to pursue careers in STEM. I had no idea what I wanted to be before I joined the team, but now I want to be a chemistry major. So, and I would have been interested in chemistry, but if not for robotics, I probably wouldn't have ever considered it as a career. Sponsored by the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, the 21st Los Angeles Regional First Competition at the Long Beach Convention Center matched 66 high school teams from not only California and Nevada, but also Brazil and Chile. I learned so much because I basically I already wanted to go into engineering, so I just learned so much about robotics and so many me uh, the mechanics about it. We were running out of time towards the end. We had to work uh, a few all-nighters, just don't leave school, stay there all night. Uh, just to get it done, but we ended up getting it all done on time. I learned a lot of technical skills, like how to program in C++, um, and also just uh, how to work with a lot of different types of people. We've had AP students, we've had credit division students, everybody working together, everybody's contributed, it hasn't been just the top, everyone's had a good idea that we've implemented into the robot, so that's been really cool. I had so much fun, I learned how to communicate, I learned how to build a robot, I learned how to problem solve and get things done really quickly. Well, like learning how to apply the math and science I've learned since I was a little kid. It was the best thing ever. Students from 49 teams in six states competed for top honors during the 2012 First Robotics Bayou Regional Competition in Kenner, Louisiana. As strong supporters of FIRST, NASA and the Stennis Space Center provided coaches, mentors, judges, and other volunteers. A team from David Thibodeau Career and Technical High School in Lafayette, Louisiana, joined a pair of teams from Texas to survive three rounds of competition and emerge as tournament champion. Meanwhile, the team representing North Shore High School and the St. Tammany School Board in Slidell, Louisiana, walked away with the Regional Chairman's Award for Best Partnership, exemplifying the true meaning of FIRST. Director Bob Cabana joined Kennedy Space Center engineers at the first regional competition at the University of Central Florida in Orlando. Teams from more than 60 high schools, including several from the Dominican Republic and Australia, competed in the KSC-sponsored event. 
And more than 1,500 high school students competed in the 11th annual Buckeye Regional First Robotics Competition at Cleveland State University's Wolstein Center. The event's 60 teams represented schools and community organizations in Ohio, Canada, Maryland, New York, and Pennsylvania. Glenn Research Center engineers and scientists volunteered as technical participants and mentors to the students. The winners of these regional competitions will meet at the first championships, April 25th through 28th, at the Edward Jones Dome in St. Louis. Some 51,000 students on more than 2,400 teams are expected to vie. The first program was founded by inventor and entrepreneur Dean Kamen in 1989 to inspire student interest in science and engineering through the building of robots. Stay tuned to NASA Television and check out NASA.gov and the NASA Television YouTube site for more FIRST Robotics action involving a NASA center near you.